Hi guys. It is a dreary, rainy day here in the end times in South Austin, Texas. We have made it to Thursday, November 26, 2015, which I guess would make it Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Day. And I got to run off to join my lovable, clueless, moron friends. We're frying up not one, not two, but three turkeys hitting the vat of peanut oil today. And so guys, what I've been planning to do today was a, what I thought was a, a quite hilarious uh, parody of, uh, of ISIS attempts to uh, recruit teenage girls to their cause and I guess the person who owns this place found no humor in my satire and, uh, shall we say, convinced me to rethink my decision to post that uh, hilarious little peek into ISIS from her house because she did not want her house either being blown up by ISIS or Homeland Security, one or the other. So I guess what I'll do instead, uh, since I can't post that, I'm just going to go on the news here. You know, I figured, being Thanksgiving, that it would just be, you know, a bunch of shit about Black Friday and whatnot, and there really wouldn't be much news. So let's just go down. Let's just go down the top 100 stories on the planet today. Uh, I'm obviously not going to hit all 100 of them to see what the mainstream media is giving thanks to. Let's see. So let's start out with child brides suffering in sub-Saharan Africa. That's a good place for something to be thankful about. You should see the picture here. Anyway, from there, how about the growing epidemic of toxic algae? This is right here in our own country. Toxic algae in our lakes, rivers, and, although not mentioned here, oceans. What is the Pope up to? The Pope is in sub-Saharan Africa speaking, the Pope speaking to crowds of sub-Saharan Africans who should never have been born, saying that the failure of the climate summit, otherwise known as COP21, would be catastrophic for the planet. I, I've got some bad news for one, uh, for the head cop in the Catholic Church. Uh, cop 21 is going to be a total failure. Uh, and obviously, I'm, I'm quite sure the Pope not bringing up overpopulation in his tour of sub-Saharan Africa. Okay, from the Pope to pangolins. Pangolins in peril. Wildlife traffickers target the world's most profitable prey. If you thought elephants or rhinos were the number one target of poachers on the planet, how about the pangolin in peril? What's going on over there in Cambodia? The good news for Cambodia as Russia steps in to help Cambodia build its capacity for nuclear power. There you go, from Cambodia to the Marshall Islands. Tiny Marshall Islands face threats from global warming. Back to Sub-Saharan Africa, we see that little planet eater from China, Xi Jinping, over there promising 
more aid to Africa. There you go. Next headline. What is the carbon footprint of an email? Several stories on this next one, and I was actually thinking about doing a full rant on this story comparing the different versions of the story being spun on the mainstream media today. This one from Reuters. EPA asks court to withdraw registration of Dow herbicide. This is uh, one of these weird stories that this is this new herbicide from Dow Chemical kind of taking glyphosate, which is the main chemical in Monsanto's Roundup, and combining it essentially with Agent Orange. And so about a year ago, I was reporting how the EPA was getting ready to green light this shit. And they did green light it, but now they've been kind of rethinking their decision in, in a big oops moment. But uh, as this Reuters news story probably correctly pointed out buried deep in the article, that probably what's going to come out of this is a little bit stricter labeling instructions on this shit called Enlist Duo. The Duo being Roundup and Agent Orange. That toxic stew being sprayed all over uh, this country and this planet so we can ramp up the use of biofuels, another story in here today, which I'll probably get to, about how the uh, feds are announcing we need more biofuels to save the planet. I had a rant about that. Good news for Dow Chemical and Monsanto taking full advantage of uh, that new brilliant idea. Anyway, uh, more about African brides here. What's going on with the price of oil? Oil surges after Turkey shoots down Russian jets. Yep, yep, yep. From there to South Africa, way down at the bottom of Sub-Saharan Africa, several stories on this. South Africa moves closer to legal trade in rhino horns. The South African court on Thursday opened the way to allowing trade in rhino horn, uh, alarming some conservationists who warned the ruling leaves rhinos even more vulnerable to poachers who are already slaughtering them in record numbers. There you go. What, what a brilliant scheme to fight poachers. Legalize the trade in rhino horns. Okay, from there to the whole planet, 2015 to be hottest year on record until next year. There you go. Let's see, what's going on down there in Brazil? I, I'm surprised I haven't done more rants on this. Mud from Brazilian dam burst is toxic. Mud from a dam that burst at an iron ore mine in Brazil earlier this month, uh, killing 12 people and polluting an important river, is toxic. The United Nations said contradicting claims by the mine operator that this wall of mud is just plain old non-toxic mud, I guess. Let's see. I guess Ukraine and Russia fighting over natural gas. What is going on with COP? 
21, those horseshit climate talks. Wow, there, uh, as new report warns of peril, COP 21 actually being moved up till Sunday. We're going to start a day earlier. We have one extra day. The COPs, COP 21, have one extra day to save the planet. Big old earthquakes in Peru. Yep. Uh, more about the Pope in Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, more about this rhino horn being legalized in South Africa. More about the, this jet being shot down in Turkey. Good Lord, just, just another day on the planet. Here is the Mafia is ready to take on ISIS. The feds are glad somebody is out there breaking a few legs. There you go. Here's again another, this is AP story. Pope says it will be catastrophic if industrial interests derail climate talks. Yep, yep, yep. How about, how about this headline? China pledges to work with Africa in fighting militancy. GDG. What's going on with all of these uh, starving refugees in Europe? Germany to start deporting asylum seekers. There you go. Uh, here, let's go over to Beijing, China. Beijing's super commutes reflect a city bulging at the seams. Yes, uh, talking about these horrendous uh, traffic jams over there in Beijing. As I reported recently, the Chinese government hoping to uh, have Beijing's population become 130 million. 130 million people over the next 50 years. That ought to, that ought to really help the uh, traffic jams in Beijing. Yes, how many stories can we have about the Pope in Africa? Here is Miss World Canada denied visa to China. Let's see, so if you're an immigrant in Holland, Today, you will find Dutch court rules that migrants' right to food and shelter are not unconditional. And this was going to be the subject of my, uh, of, of my uh, satirical rant. Why do Western women join the Islamic State. But I guess I'll have to save that rant till I get to St. Croix in a couple of weeks. Uh, from that to what is the deadly kissing bug? Here's what you need to know about triatomine bugs. Jesus. Uh, Richard Dawkins compares clock boy Ahmed Mohammed to ISIS child executioner. Says the outspoken advocate of rational argument. 
There you go. Down in Venezuela. Wow, what a surprise this story. Venezuelan opposition candidate shot dead at rally. Hmm. There you go. Uh, shit, this from my home state of Georgia. Sheriff's politically incorrect sign turns heads. This is this local sheriff paid for a sign in front of his office. Warning, Harris County is politically incorrect. We say Merry Christmas, God bless America, and in God we trust. We salute our troops and our flag. If this offends you, leave. There you go. I, 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 I love this one. Woman reports dynamite text. Passengers removed from plane. Four passengers were removed from a Chicago-bound flight at Baltimore's International Airport after a fellow passenger said she saw one of them receive a text with the word dynamite in, in the text. So I guess this guy sitting on the plane opened up his smartphone and someone had emailed him or text or whatever. And, and in this private email to this guy on the plane, his friend put the word dynamite in there so this stranger spying on him over his shoulder reported this to the stewardess and a total of he and three of his buddies escorted off the plane from the good old state of texas texas toddler dies after siblings put her in oven Uh, gee. Now, last week I was talking about this new product that keeps your shit from stinking, and now we have a new product that keeps your asshole from stinking when you take a shit, as one of the top 100 stories on the planet. Trade toilet paper for a bum gun. It is time to ditch the toilet paper for this hygienic alternative. Yep, yep, yep. That's one of the top 100 stories on the planet. The bum gun. Yes. Uh... Here's Donald Trump tweeting neo-Nazi stuff. There you go. Uh, you know, I'm I'm just uh, I, I'm I'm just run, run, running ahead here, guys. <sighs> All right, heavy Russian raids in Syria. Good for Russia. I wanted to find this one. I know I got to be coming up on it. I could do a full rant about it if I ever get to it again. Um, one of these days. Here is Iran's supreme leader says United States using money and sex to infiltrate Iran. I, I'm quite sure that, they're, that that's the least of, of what they're using to infiltrate Iran. Where is this story? Uh, Austin, Texas. I was just in this traffic jam around the Texas Longhorn football game. 
right here, just in that traffic jam, and here it is on the top 100 stories on the planet, a football game in Austin, Texas today. Uh, now, oh yes, my uh, buddy was just mentioning this story to me. After mocking Holocaust, French comedian gets two months in Belgian jail. A French comic was sentenced Wednesday to two months in prison in Belgium uh, for anti-Semitic comments he made in a comedy routine. So, yeah, make a joke and go to jail, which is, I guess, one of the, the, the minor reason why I'm not posting my joke story about ISIS recruiting teenage girls to uh, fight their battles for them. Yep. Um, you know, I thought, I had some crazy idea that Japan didn't have an army, but I guess they do. And they're sending the troops to these disputed islands in the China Sea. Good God, uh, how many times do I need to say where World War III is going to start? It's not going to be the Middle East. It's going to be in the China Sea. Uh, I'm beginning to think uh, that... Sometimes this happens with the news, because I'm down at the bottom. Anyway, one of the main stories that I wanted to talk about, and it disappeared out of here, was this story, uh, I, I guess, coming out, uh, it was coming out of England, I guess, about this woman talking uh, to the press over there, doing a, a, an opinion piece on why she chose not to have children. And she is this 30 year old woman talking about uh, what she had to go through, this childless 30 year old woman, what she had to go to in England trying to find a doctor who would sterilize her. This was the same rant I had about getting my vasectomy at age 22. What I had to go through to uh, get sterilized at age 22 before having any kids. Well, this is a 30-year-old woman, the living hell she had to go through uh, to, to, to get sterilized because she had made the decision as a 30-year-old woman that she didn't want to have any of the little brats. And... So she puts out this opinion piece, and good God, she actually had violent threats against her. It, it was talking about some of the uh, comments she received about, uh, you know, about sewing her mouth shut instead of her tubes. Why don't you go in there and rip out her heart? while you're in there cutting her fallopian tubes. And, and just the, she says she finally had to cancel her Twitter account because of, of all of these, I, I mean, just this absolute vitriolic barrage for, for daring to have a pro-sterilization story encouraging uh, adult women to get sterilized. There you go. Let's see. So what are the last three stories, the last four stories on the mainstream media's top 100 stories on the planet? Number 97, South Korea man gets 12 years for feeding pupil feces. There you go. Number 98, at Trump's 
presidential rally, rallies a combustible mix of glee and fear. Glee and fear, number 99, watch Syrian rebels blow up a Russian-made helicopter, and number 100, story on the planet, what is our hero John Kerry up to today? Kerry fears Israeli-Palestinian conflict may, quote, spin out of control. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry warned Wednesday that the conflict between Israel and the Palestinians is at a pivotal point and could worsen beyond repair. I think it's safe to say, guys, what is, this has been going on at least since 1967. I think it's safe to say that it is beyond repair here on Thanksgiving, but after checking in with the mainstream media, it is time for me to go help fry up some turkeys. Because my lovable, clueless, moron friends are gathering at Washboard Judy's, and it is time to stuff our faces and party while the planet burns. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye, guys.